Hello and welcome my fellow space pirates. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I want to share with you guys my space pirate bounty hunter build. This is only going to go up to level 15 that I did promise you guys I'll give you the full build of everything that I think is good to use in the early game. Obviously I have not played yet. We're about two and a half hours away from early access actually starting. So I'm pumping this video out for you guys now quickly before and then we're going to see once we get in game how long it actually takes us to get to level 15 and some other things that we might want to change along the way. But I think this is a really good baseline build for level 15 as I think that's pretty early on as there's probably no level cap and you're easily going to go to like level 300 plus to actually get all the points anyway. So without further ado, let's just hop straight into my build planner. I will have this linked on my Discord as well. So if you want to have the link and then go check it out, come into my Discord and the link will be in the builds and guides channel. So let's have a look at the physical tree. We're picking up wellness to increase your maximum health, just to give you a little bit more tankiness. I'm not sure about the difficulties. But if there is a very hard difficulty and it does give increased XP, we'll definitely be playing on that difficulty. And then weightlifting, increasing our total car carrying capacity by 25 kilograms. Obviously because more carry, this is a Bethesda game. You're going to pick up everything and sell everything and salvage everything and whatever you're going to do with it. So we definitely want to have more carrying weight. And then social, there's a lot. If you actually click on them like that, you can see all the different perks. There's a lot of different perks and good perks. It was really hard to actually choose any. So for social, we're just going to go for the commerce one early on, as I think it's pretty important to buy and sell stuff as we'll be collecting a lot of junk and selling a lot of junk just to make our way into the universe and get all of our credits so we can buy our ships and like weapon mods and all that cool stuff. And then for the combat, there's a lot of different ways to go. There's laser weapons. Obviously, I only took pistol certification early on because I know 99% of games and also from all the trailers and things we saw with Starfield, you're pretty much going to start with a pistol. You, you almost always start with some kind of a handgun in these type of games or a melee weapon, but I don't really enjoy melee weapons that much. So I'm going with a pistol and then later down the line, I don't want to go into rifles and sniper rifles, maybe go like a more sneaky kind of a pirate build, but this is good just for starting me out. Then we're going to pick up surveying, adds another level of zoom to the hand scanner and scan distance is increased to 30 meters. Obviously we're going to be scanning a lot of stuff for resources to build our outposts and our ship early on. I'm not sure how intensive that's all going to be, so I want to pick up those points early on. And then we're moving over to tech. Now if you do have the background that I have, bounty hunter background, you get all three of these at level one for free with tech. And then I'm obviously picking up three in boost pack so i'll put in two extra levels into the boost pack because we start with that one at level one if we choose the bounty hunter background so the boost pack fuel regenerates more quickly and the other two ones was it can last longer and i think it regens even faster or something like that cooldowns faster so we can just get our boost pack up and going a lot faster we got piloting there to increase our thrusters utilize ship thrusters so when we're up in space and then unlock ship targeting functionality just to make it easier to fight up in space with your ship and the three traits I chose, obviously you can choose whatever you want. This is just to follow my little backstory of being a neon street rat. And obviously I'm an introvert because I like to travel solo. And I'm wanted for many different reasons. We'll just say I'm a pirate and a bounty hunter slash Boba, hit, Boba Fett slash Captain Jack Sparrow is what my character I'm going to be role playing as more or less. So those are the traits I chose. Obviously the wanted one does give you a little bit more damage when your health is low. So that could be nice in a pinch. And they did say there'll be ways you can actually remove the negative side of your traits. So I'm thinking there must be a way to actually kill the people that are after me that I'm wanted for. Or maybe pay them off or bribe them so that I can just keep the positive and then remove the negative as well with introvert. Maybe some of the companions are actually interesting and I like traveling with them. Then I'll obviously try and remove that as well in game. And Neon Street Rat, that's just going to change your crime bounty and other stuff with factions as well. So that's not really too negative or positive for me. We'll see how all the factions go, as I ultimately want to join the Crimson Fleet, because that is the Space Pirates. That is what I'm going to do in my playthrough. And I'll see you guys there tonight. Let me know what you think of the build, if you have any of your own ideas, or let me know what you guys plan on building as your first pirate. Do you want to be a trucker, like a long hauler? Do you want to just do cargo? Do you want to make outposts all over the place? What is the space adventure that you desire and you can't wait to get to on the early access? That's it for this one. I hope you guys liked it. Please drop a like and a sub to the channel. It helps me out so much. And I'll catch you guys star side. Augie okay, say now. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying.